guys, welcome back to another edition of Crosstown Connections on Bella TV. I am so excited to be joined by my long-term friend, even though we're still really young, host of Bold TV and new mommy, Diana Felzone. Diana, how are you? Oh, I'm good, thank you for having me. This is fun, I mean, her life is so busy, my life is hectic now that this is how we hang out <laughs> on camera. I love it, and you know, I was a guest on your show like six years ago, and then we were communicating on social media, and. I was just like, oh my God, to reconnect is, is such a joy and such a pleasure, especially everything that's happened to you recently. It is. It is a joy and a pleasure. And it's so important to have sustaining friendships, especially in a busy city like New York and amongst media friends, but just girlfriends. Having a girlfriend is such an important thing because you will never have that kind of relationship with anyone else. They're there to support you and have your back and pay it forward. So I'm just like happy to be here and congratulations on your new show. Oh my God, I'm so excited that you're a guest here. I mean, literally I was first, re when I was reaching out to talent, I was like, I need to sit down with my friends first and foremost, because I think those make for the best, most authentic interviews. And I know you've interviewed a ton of celebrities throughout the years and I think you'd probably agree with me. <laughs> oh, I think so. When you know the person that you're interviewing, it, there's just a genuine connection and a care. Like I know her, I know your your life <laughs> so it makes a big difference and you know mine you know the stuff that we've gone through trials tribulations real gritty friendship 100 percent. and when you make a deep connection and you actually like someone that you can work with it's just such a beautiful thing now i have to say when i walked through the hotel doors i literally got goosebumps because of all these amazing things that have happened to you recently you're the host of a brand new show on a new network yes. and you're going to tell us all about that and you're a mommy to this beautiful baby boy and i literally like can't get over how adorable he is i could eat him with a spoon i lucked out he's his name is alexander he is 10 weeks old i'm still completely in shock that I'm a mom. I didn't think it was possible that I could become a mom. It was always a dream. And every day when I wake up in the morning and he's smiling at me and he's now interacting and cooing, it's just, it's just your heart. Like your life certainly does change when you become a mom. I used to think it was cliche, but you completely change your perspective. And you know, you've been an advocate for so many women. I mean, recently, you know, I'm in my 30s and I just froze my eggs. And <laughs> you've been an advocate for so many women that have had trouble getting pregnant. And just in life, nothing comes easy, or at least the things that are really worthwhile, right? right? And like, how do you think that other women can get the strength, the inner strength that you've had to be so outspoken about things that might not come so easy to them? Well, I feel like I had a choice because when you speak out about something, there's always going to be a potential for repercussions, especially if it's something uncomfortable like women's health or infertility, things that make, make us feel a little bit shameful. So for me, I just felt like I had all this knowledge and to not share it with others was miserly and selfish of me. And I wanted to help so that another woman who might be in a similar situation was able to to find the answers she needed and to find some solace and to not feel so alone. So that's why I spoke out. I think that's so beautiful and I loved reading all the amazing articles about everything that you went through in your journey and you know this show is all about connecting so you have achieved so many different amazing accomplishments and everyone's life is different and their goals are different but how did you go about navigating a path so that you connected with the right individuals to allow you to achieve so many things both personally and professionally? Ooh, that's interesting. Um, I always say that you never know who you're gonna meet in a given day. And that so much of life is all about your connections. And when you're interning at a company, it's important to keep in touch with those people because you never know who might have an opportunity for you down the road. So there's like a, an old expression that comes from you. If, if a homeless person comes to your door, don't ever judge them for, for the way they look or what they're doing. They could be an angel in disguise. Like the whole thing is in life, be kind. Be kind to everyone in every walk of life. It doesn't matter because somehow, some way, they're going to impact you. I just, that's just the way I've always seen. No, I, ab I absolutely love that because, I mean, to be successful in a field that, you know, like television, obviously, Diana's going to tell us a little bit about Bull TV and her new role there. But to be in a competitive business, I feel like it can be intimidating for a lot of people. And, you know, reaching out to those or connecting with higher ups and people in powerful positions. I mean, how, again, do you say to women and, and just people in general that want to achieve something that they can do it and to not be afraid? Never sell yourself short. Never say, I'm just the intern. 
always remember your power. You have power and you're not asking for a favor if you're going to be giving something to a company. I love that. I love that. So it's like when you have a job interview, don't think about, well, I want this job. Say, how am I going to enhance your company? How am I going to be better by you, like better for this position and better for your company because you're hiring me? So just always keep that in mind that you have something to offer and you're very valuable. Absolutely, that you're going to contribute a ton to their platform or venue or whatever the case may be, wherever you're, you're working. And sometimes I've actually created jobs that weren't on a roster or a job opening because I thought, wait a minute, I see a hole there and I think I could totally fill it by offering X, Y, and Z to your company. And there was a job that was created for me and a full salary position because I did that. And I thought, man, this is a stretch. Like I bet they'll never go for it, but they did. So always dream bigger than the possibilities out there. Create the possibilities. I love that. It's all about taking action, creating opportunities, and ask, because if you don't ask, you don't get. And squeaky wheel gets the grease, as my dad said. Oh, my mom says that too. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I had an amazing time talking to my friend Diana Falzone here at the Wilson Restaurant at the Melia in New York. And now you've got to wish me luck in the Uber pool circuit because we are going to make a new friend. <laughs> about that time. Uh, can I just, hi, how are you? Can I just tell you I'm obsessed with your burgundy? Oh, thank right you. Right now this metallic is so on trend. I wore something like that actually last week. Uh, so perfect for fall. I love the shade. Right, right? Oh my gosh, what's your name? I'm Valerie. Sierra. Nice to meet you, Sierra. I, I just want everybody to know we're currently in an Uber pool and this girl <laughs> comes in and I'm like, hi, just as you see it, is it's happening, right? It's unfolding right in front of your eyes. But what I really want to ask you is like, Connecting with people, you know, what do you think your journey has been? And everybody's goals, everyone's goals are different in life, but what do you think are the steps that you've taken to kind of connect with individuals to help you achieve them? Um, well, for example, I would say networking, finding other people who have the same passion as you. That helps yeah. a lot. If anything, it helps want to increase your motivation to get to your goals. Absolutely. Just believe in yourself. Yes, a hundred percent. Do you find like there are a lot of cool people in school that you really mesh oh, with? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I feel like if I never went to FIT, I wouldn't experience half of the stuff I've been accomplishing. That's so life. cool. And what are you studying? Advertising and marketing. Yes, girl. That's what yes. I'm talking about. And where are you heading right now? Right now, I'm actually going to interview at Burberry. Ooh, fifty seventh location. I love I'm nervous, that. But and I don't be nervous. You're amazing. And this is exactly what we want to achieve. We want to instill confidence in people. And I think that when you make a genuine connection, that'll, that helps it. You know what I mean? Because you're so kind now that oh, I'm meeting you. you. I think that they'd be foolish not to hire you. You're going to get this girl. Thank you. I and I think, so. yeah, and 57th, that's probably their main location. Yeah, it's their, 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 their biggest big. store location. Unbelievable. Well, you look so on point. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful. So do you think that this connection, us talking right now, may have boosted your confidence Absolutely. at all? Absolutely. I, first of all, I thought my outfit was hideous when I woke up this morning. Oh my God, are you so, serious? Oh my God, you look so it beautiful. It that someone acknowledged it. So yes, I feel ready now. Absolutely. And it gave me an ice-breaking opportunity to speak to you as well because of the fact that you don't just blend in. Exactly. You know what? That's what fashion does. Too. Exactly. Sticking out and owning who you are. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Sierra. So let me ask you a question. Yes. Would you be open to coming in studio to Bella TV and talking to us about how this experience has sort of made you feel and how you've paid it forward by talking to other people? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, I love that. We're going to hold you to that. Yeah. So we're going to be seeing you soon, my friend. Yay. All right, Sierra, you've been validated.